All right, friends, so we are doing a very, very casual video today. I am sitting in my, <laughs> literally at my bar in my kitchen, and I'm going to share how I do my jail nails with y'all, because this is such a highly requested um, topic that I get on my Instagram. I will link the kit for y'all that I use. I will link the bag that I keep everything in, but this kit comes with everything that you need, except for the like 100% pure acetone that you would need to soak your nails in to remove the actual manicure after like seven to 10 days. So do not skip this part right here if you want your manicure to last because every single time I ask people, like they'll be like, my manicure only lasted three or four days. I'm like, so what prep work did you do? They're like, I mean, I just filed and buffed my nails and then I started painting them. So. The prep work is the most important. You need to file, buff, and like remove any cuticles um, from your nails. If you have any cuticles remaining, what can happen is if you accidentally paint on top of them, then the nail polish can lift. If you paint on the side of your finger, the nail polish can lift, and that can make your manicure last less time. But when you are going to start your manicure, you want your nails to look brittle and dry. You don't want them to look hydrated. You don't want them to be soft. You don't want to put water on them. You want them to be dry. And the key that I have found is this right here. So either an alcohol pad before or even nail polish remover actually works great because nail polish remover is really going to remove everything off your nails. But again, I have filed, buffed my nails, shaped them, cuticles are gone just for the you know time sake. I'm not going to show you how to file nails. Y'all know how to do that. But I do prefer my nails to be pretty short lately just because we are still kind of like starting the process of moving. And so I really need like short nails. I don't want to mess them up. So alcohol pe prep pad completely done, but they need to be dry and just like bare. You're going to use the base coat that comes in the kit I am linking. And you want to take a very thin layer and paint it. Make sure you don't get the side of your skin, like um, make sure you don't get any base coat on your skin here and make sure you don't get any of it on your cuticles. Only downside to this light is that it just fits one hand at a time, but I usually will let the base coat sit for about 120 seconds. are not the cutest, but you can see just like a clear base coat. I argue that honestly, the base coat is one of the most important steps because you want to make sure that that is a thin coat that again, does not get on your skin around your nail and it doesn't get on the cuticle. Now, same exact brand, I'm gonna be using YO2. And you sometimes with this kit do need two coats. Sometimes you can do one. The goal is to get the coats as thin as possible because that's going to make it last longer. can see we've got one coat down so still a little bit of um you still see some of my nail underneath so i'm gonna do a second coat and then top coat will be done Close 
up to show y'all. We are officially done with color. Now we will add a very thin top coat and then I do um, two 120 second like light cycles per hand and then you are completely done. All right, and we have got two coats of color on there and then the top coat that has been dried twice. So final step, this is literally all you have to do and this is one of the reasons that I love the gel kit so much is because as soon as you're done, you're done. You can go back to business, you don't have to be careful, nothing. So I will take um, an alcohol pad and you need to do this regardless of what gel kit you use. You have to take an alcohol pad and um, just quickly go over all your nails because it's real sticky. So the kit that I'm gonna link for y'all does have an oil, like a little oil stick in it that's got cuticle oil, nail oil in it. Go over your cuticles, because again, they were super dry ahead of time. Um, and I'll show you guys a close up of what my nails look like. They still have oil all over them. But I find that making this manicure last really the key is also to go over your cuticles like every couple days. Cause once they get dry, you're gonna either A, do the bad thing and pick at them like I do, or it's gonna start um, kind of getting into that nail polish like the sides and the nail polish. So I just love to apply this like every other day, maybe every two days. Um, and that is how I achieve the best gel mani at home. It's gonna last me for about like seven to 10 days every time I do it. Um, and again, everything is gonna be linked for y'all. If you do have any questions, definitely put them in the comments below so that I can respond. And like, if someone else has the same question, you know, I can just respond there. And I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway for one of these gel nail kits. So check out the video mention section in the description bar, um, and I'll have all entry details there. So thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.